This is an early introduction to Alpha Software's concept of clipboard replacement apps. First, let me explain why we're using this term. Even though Alpha Anywhere can be used to develop a wide range of different types of apps, not just for applications where paper forms are currently filled out on a clipboard. When we say that Alpha Anywhere can be used to build mobile business apps, many people think mobile means smartphone and apps means consumer use. So a mobile business app would be something that a company's marketing department would build to entice prospective customers to interact with the company and start using its services or buy its products. In many cases, such apps would be built by specialized developers focused on consumer use, just as those you'd find at a digital agency. How cool the app looks and feels so it stands out is more important than how well it, it integrates with internal corporate data. Native development versus HTML5 is an important issue to address. Costs can run quite high, but marketing budgets can be large, and very few such apps are needed by any given company. There are many different tools that can be used to create such apps, many aimed at the specialized developers who work on client-side user interfaces that push the limits of mobile hardware. While Alpha Anywhere can and is used to build such apps, that is not where it is mainly targeted. Instead, Alpha Anywhere is targeted at business domain experts building many apps for internal use. This is so-called B2E, business to employees. The mobile component may run on a smartphone, a tablet, or both. There's often a desktop browser-based component to an app for setting up the data, reporting the data, or participating in the flow of information through the company. A wide variety of existing and sometimes new data stores are involved, such as data stored in Oracle, SQL Server, or even Microsoft Access, and access through a structured query language, as well as data organized by SAP, Salesforce.com, and various web services, either on-premises or in the cloud. The developers need to be comfortable working on many parts of a system, not just on the slick smartphone UI. Such B2E apps will come in large numbers. The budgets for their development will often not be anywhere near as large as the consumer-focused ones. The timeframes for development may be very short, and the people who can build them and have the necessary domain expertise must be easily found within a company or hired. Describing class of apps as clipboard replacement is helpful in setting the context for what Alpha Anywhere may be used for. The images of employees using them, and with the data being shown and captured being very domain-specific and detailed, and being intimately tied to existing shared data stores. The image is of carefully crafting of the information being displayed or captured, not the exciting novelty of a slick interface. The flexibility and agility of HTML5 development and deployment is obvious over native development, and speed is obviously not normally an issue. The system is waiting for the user rather than the user waiting for the system. Here is a little background about how we came up with this term. In October 2014, analyst Ben Baharin of Creative Strategies posted an article about the new Apple iPad Air 2. He argued that many were incorrectly disappointed by the apparent lack of innovation in the new device. Others saw it as minor random tweaks to an existing device. He, instead, viewed it as a focused step in a particular major direction. In the past, throughout the PC era, many jobs had been upgraded from being paper-based to computer-based. The use of computers was extended to areas where it had not been prevalent before. The desktop, and later the laptop, personal computer, were well suited to many jobs that were performed while sitting down, of which there are many in an enterprise. Ben saw that personal computing technology in the form factor of a tablet was not especially designed to replace the PCs used by those who worked sitting down. Instead, he saw that tablets were quite well designed to replace the clipboards that mobile workers used in the field. Tablets were well suited to bring the advantages of computerization to jobs that were performed while standing up or walking around. He saw safety and other inspectors, construction workers, warehouse people, and more switching to these devices from their pen, paper, and clipboard. Why was the iPad Air special here? It was lighter than before so you could carry it with less fatigue. It was the right size to replace clipboards. It had a screen that was better for outdoor use than previously, 
And with Touch ID, it made security more palatable to the user. In an interview I did with him for a podcast, he estimated the corporate market for such uses of tablets in the U.S. as 500 to 600 million units. In a later report, he pointed out that the tablet market is really made of many parts, each with its own dynamics. The use by regular people and executives as a laptop replacement, the one use many people think of first, is only one such use. There are uses by various family members for gaming, education, viewing videos, reading, and more. The use for specialized applications, such as clipboard replacements, is just one such use. The prices of tablets, especially those that are not in the laptop replacement area, have already dropped to as low as $60. For the particular application they are being purchased for, they are quite capable, even if they don't measure up feature for feature with the high-end units such as the iPads. What we see at Alpha is that tablets are a great opportunity for the enterprise. Unlike a smartphone, where the employee would not want to have to carry more than one, nor have the company lock down their own data and restrict the use of desired applications. A tablet is not something most people would want to bring from home. Other than laptop replacements, I don't see most people wanting to take the tablet they use to watch movies and play games with to work to be subjected to dirt, grease, and breakage. At the current cost, tablets are quite affordable for companies to provide even if only used for a few applications. This is especially true of those tablets, like most that are being bought, are Wi-Fi only and don't have a $20 to $80 a month cellular plan data plan. This means that many applications will need to be able to work offline without a data con uh, connection, at least some of the time. Alpha Anywhere's ability to easily build apps that run disconnected meets this need well. If the company provides the tablet instead of bring your own device, BYOD, it is much easier to enforce security and there can be less need to develop and test on a diverse set of platforms for those applications, unlike what one needs to do in the B2C and BYOD arenas. Cross-platform development capabilities can be used to allow the company to choose among vendors for the hardware as needs change, but on their timetable. Clipboard replacement tablets, especially those that are mainly for data capture, are a much less worrisome device from a security viewpoint if lost or stolen than general corporate data accesses device, since the range of data they hold can be quite limited and of little external value. There are certain requirements for a development system for clipboard replacements that become apparent in addition to the easy support of offline operation. Development must be quick and inexpensive, it must be able to connect to a wide range of existing and future data stores and web services. It must be possible to configure the user interface and especially the main data display and entry parts with great flexibility to deal with the wide range of custom needs. For example, being able to specify layouts that are most anything that can be expressed in HTML and CSS would be best. More than a fixed two-dimensional layout is needed. The screen should be able to reconfigure as needed. So, for example, different checkboxes might be shown in a medical form for males versus females. Unlike forms displayed on a desktop computer driven by a mouse and keyboard, mobile systems must be tuned to touch, which implies large areas for controls, especially when used standing up. Touch-centric controls tuned to the type of data being captured are important. Unlike desktop systems, mobile devices have other forms of input, such as the camera, microphone, and GPS, and you can write on them with your finger or a stylus, something that is not practical with a mouse. Let me show you what we are doing with Alpha Anywhere to address this use case. This is running code in Alpha Anywhere. I'm using it on a browser in my development system, but the same code works on an iPad and Android tablet. I'll start with a simple data collection app to show off some of the concepts. This was hand-coded with our new form view control. We are working on a genie-driven system for creating such apps, just as you can build apps for the grid or the list control with little or no coding to start. Okay, we'll start by bringing up a list of the places we would need to inspect today, and we've loaded this in the morning, perhaps, uh, using Wi-Fi or something. And let's look at uh, Ridgesmith. It already has filled in the site ID, the name. I could always click on it and edit it if I want to. Uh, we have here 
uh, a map, and uh, if we're connected, then we can get the information just like we would be able to get there. Um, and then we get to say, well, what type of inspection type is it? And these are like radio buttons. Notice they're nice, nice and big. And we haven't just said what type of techniques we're going to use for inspection, so we don't have much we can do. But when I click this, it adds different um, different uh, items that you can get with it. So this shows a dynamically configured um, type of a form. So let's say the main pump, the main, but no, the main pump is bad. And let's go over here, and uh, there seems to be a crack in it. So um, let's say there's a crack, and I would use my finger. In this case, I'm using a mouse, uh, but it's cracked. And you know, with a with a finger, you can write that right quick. Oh, this. Well, let's get something a little more detailed. We'll say that there's a crack in. Now, notice I'm writing quite big, which I could do with a finger or stylus but it shrinks it down in the main housing. Uh, this way of using a tablet is very popular on the iPad, among others. Um, the using your finger to write, let's say, mm, that's not very, no, we're not very happy about that. And notice it fits because it's a computer and it can it can adapt to the data. So no matter how much you write, you can see it in there. And this is good. This is good. And uh, let's get a photo. We'll pick this photo up over here and uh, drag over to here. And let's say we'll write. Ah, oh, there's a crack right there. And there is the crack. And you can see it's small over here. We'll save it, go to the next place, do just a simple visual, look at this and this. Oh, but um, this is getting old. Getting old. Fingers right better than a mouse. But this will do. Save this. And, you know, the either the, the inspector or uh, the supervisor would want to be able to get a report to see it all together. We haven't looked at Acme Holding. This was inspected on this day, and we did this. It was bad. Here the ink is big enough to read. We didn't inspect these, but here's the photo. Here's the other one, etc. So this is a nice, simple type of application, basically a flat file, but it's a very common type of application. You could also imagine that instead of taking a photo, um, you may want to have something where you've already provided one, like in this case here, a damage report, and there's already a standard picture that comes in the system. And I'll go over here and I'll say, um, let's uh, use an orange, and uh, there, here's where the, the problem was. Let's save this, and then we go here, and we can see the report. This is really simple. So let's look at um, one that's a little more sophisticated. In this case, we have the Northwind database. And we pulled this off uh, using SQL. It was pulled off of a database. And here we have a different layout. We have the... Uh, customer contact information, if we tap on it, automatically selected. We have an editor that's tuned to this type of data. I can go next and previous through it to be able to edit it. Uh, this is a different type of editor, choosing from a list. Here we have um, different invoices, and the invoices have been total up. Here's the total, the grand total, 400, 1400. Robert King, Janet Levering, Margaret Peacock. It chooses one for each of these to let you know the employees that were involved. We can go over here and say, well, it really isn't Janet. Let's say Ann's now handling it. 
the quantity of this. We have a um, an editor that is tuned to specifically the type of data, in this case, quantity, so I can bump it up or down, or I can uh, clear it and say 100, uh, 101, save it. Now we've gone up to thousands of dollars. If we go back over here, we now have 2,000, and this has been bumped to 3,000, and Dodsworth King automatically put this in. This particular design was was produced by a um, a graphic designer who mocked it up uh, in Adobe Illustrator and then used um, uh, HTML5 to actually make uh, this as a mock-up that you could run in a browser, but you could just click on things, but it wasn't really live. Um, I right-clicked, viewed source on that, copied the HTML and put it into uh, Alpha Anywhere, and then I put in placeholders for the contact, etc., and some iterators to go through uh, this data. The data was is loaded um, using a little wizard I set up to the data to come from the database. And then uh, I was able to tie that data, to bind that data to this form. This form is hot. This is a new facility that we have to to be able to use uh, your finger to be able to uh, tap on an item, bring up the appropriate editor, and then be able to um, update that data back to the data store. The data is can be very complex like this. This is many levels of data um, in, in JSON form. And the JSON data is easily handled by this form system. And if we go back here, we can we see that the fact that this was modified but hasn't been synced yet uh, is visible, but I can always go back to it and see what what I've changed and everything is handled. So this is an example of uh, of a particular layout. Here are some other ones that we've been uh, been mocking up. These are mockups of different. Uh, this is patient form. Uh, you can see over here um, of how you might handle something. Uh, you'd circle where do you feel the pain, and this would be available for each each of the different places. We do this type. Now here's car inspection, a different look. These are we're, these are the type of designs we want to be able to handle, and we're building the system to be able to do this, and for many of these to be able to create them automatically without coding. Uh, just off of the data that you have.